what's going on everybody it's patrick mid 10 outdoors how's my outdoor crew doing i hope this video finds you well so saturday's video i left you kind of hanging well not really i told you i got a new camera but i haven't said much about it well actually saturday was day two of uh daniel boone trip where we spent two days off-roading and um, I will say after two days of shooting with this thing exclusively just about I was blown away with the performance with image quality I got so right now I'm gonna roll in as we're talking a couple videos snippets from the trip of course next week you will see the first video which will be day one but I was really impressed with how this camera works. So let's take it apart and see what I got. I got the Insta 364K boosted version. It's actually the Insta 361 RS. So what came in the box was this. I got the camera the housing that it's in which is this right here Ooh, it's tight which is the housing that it comes with and i will tell you right now the housing has the buttons here and here power on instant on this right here will accept their hot shoe amount um there's a couple other things i'm not sure no it's in there huh so right whoops so right in here, we can find it, uh, right in there is a little, I doubt you can see it, a little foam pad that's actually a wind muff. Um, it's also supposed to help, I think, with moisture. But then, uh, let's take the battery off real quick and you'll see how the rest of this works. But you push this little button right here forward and the battery snaps off. So now you're left with the main module, which is this right here with the lens, uh, the screen. And then you got the filter module, which it just unplugs. Now you can turn this around like so. And then you can put it in selfie mode. All you have to do is put your battery back on, get back to shooting. Um, I did not on purposely get the 360 lens yet I do want to get the lens but I don't have it right now um, I'll roll in the cost on it right now and I'll leave a link down below or leave a link yeah down below on Amazon if you want to check it out for yourself but like it says on here it's the 4k let's see if it focuses in it's a little dark 4k boosted so I have one battery. It does come with a um, USB-C charging, which means it will charge rapidly. Um, that's the only door on it. Is that right there dangling off? The cool thing about it is, if you pull a little bit, it pops out. Now I can see you down the road. That would be a bad thing, and that would pop off and maybe break. Um, you have a USB-C right inside there and an SD card slot for an SD card I will say this the SD card slot is just like on GoPro bad word um, it's fairly tight getting it in there if you got big fingers like I do but I have managed to do it a couple times without having to have a any kind of aid I just did it then and then you just Take your little door, and it goes in that little hole in there. I don't know if you can see it here. Hang on. Let me see that little hole there at the bottom. It goes in there. So you put your little Sorry, I quit talking because I'm concentrating. You don't ever do that? You quit talking or quit doing something if you're concentrating? So the door, I will say this, it goes in there at an angle you put it in at an angle like so and then snap it in it's cool 
battery likewise you find your connecting points which is here and here line the battery up you would think it would be a little bit more difficult than this but snap and it's on now I did screw up this weekend one time first time using it so the door have a little push button on it I kind of like that you don't have to take the cage off in order to change out battery or anything like that so you just push it on a little red button if I can get my fingers to work and the little door pops up now the other cool thing is if you'll see there's a little texturing on here that's supposed to be considered a heat sink and it's rubberized on the inside so it helps dissipate heat you see a hole right here that's for the microphone now what you will find and what I've been told is this camera has multiple microphone points so that it hears more than just the one thing so you slide it in like so where I screwed up this weekend somehow or another and I realized it once I had done it is you can put it in there backwards and I did this even shut the door and it shuts well guess what I couldn't do I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't turn on I'm pushing the buttons I'm pushing everything I said oh great it sat in my bag and it killed the battery no I had it in the thing wrong I had it in the case wrong so if you flip it around you see your corresponding buttons right here on top you have your power and you have your instant shoot slide it in lock it down you're good to go now the only other thing i have for this camera right now is a quick charger as you see here that will allow you to charge two batteries at once so i have a second battery and this is the battery right here um, i'll put down the pacifics well i said that i'll put down on the right now i'll put milliamps on this battery but basically it does the same thing here's your little charger see right there you take you hold the battery on it and click it on now in case you're wondering you got a plug right here plug it up and it shows it's green because it's charged so this like i said is a rapid charger i'll put down below how long it takes to charge on rapid charge um but anytime you're taking the battery off you have to push this button forward and it clicks off so it does click on the good news is now I shot with this thing quite a bit on Friday and shot a lot more on Saturday with it handheld and doing uh, talking videos and it lasted all weekend matter of fact when I closed the video down on video number two is when the battery was like time to replace battery i was really impressed one battery lasted me all weekend on this thing now i will say this i was not shooting in 4k and i wasn't shooting in uh 27. i was shooting in 1080 the whole weekend i think hang on i'll tell you i love the little do 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 it's nice and 24 frames per second so I was doing 24 frames per second 1080 16 by 9 so your typical YouTube video watching style um, blue light means it's on hit the button takes a second and then you start getting red light that means you're recording turn it off turn off the camera all together that's it um, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed with it and like I said I've got GoPro parts that I can still use I'm not gonna I don't have to change up if I don't want to I don't have to go get the insta360 monopod or anything like that I can use the GoPro stuff and I did I use this handle all weekend long um, I will show a video right now of us going on the trail okay and I had it in there what they call flow state stabilization 
I was really impressed with the stabilization of the video and you know if you're filming in a Jeep in an off-road situation going over rocks and stuff that thing's bouncing and moving a lot this thing really slowed that down and I really am impressed with the shots I was getting so I can't wait to take it at least maybe try to do a hike with it do some other outdoor stuff with it I just think it's going to be um, I, I just think it's I think it's the answer to not having to worry about a darn GoPro especially the new ones doing what they're doing now as long as Insta360 doesn't screw us on software updates I think we'll have a good camera here alright guys that's it it's a little long in the tooth I apologize um, but uh, next Tuesday you will be seeing the first video from Daniel Boone uh, backcountry byway and well, we'll see you on the next one. I got some other things coming. Be prepared. Don't forget to check out the merch down below. Get you a t-shirt. I wore all four of the t-shirts this weekend. See you on the next one. Be prepared.